This over here is an integrated device which is custom designed to monitor and lock over time several parameters which includes GPS, heartbeat, read time, speed, steps and pretty much all functionality a smartwatch houses. I'm going to take you through how we assemble this two layer PCB here at the lab and program it to work just the way we preset it. Days back, we received a design board from JLUC PCB in China. The parcel includes some of our client design proposals, which this tracker system is one of them. Kicking off the assembly, I reviewed the printed board using the digital magnifier. Once I can confirm all traces are in alignment, I start applying soldering paste to the board. Completing that, I assembled all SMD components so as to start placing them in their respective position. Aligning the tiny resistors and capacitors was a challenge as I didn't use stencil for the layering. After the components have been positioned, I carefully transferred the board to the preheating station and powered it up. As the temperature rises up to 180 degrees, the soldering process starts as you can see the components gradually soldering. After a few minutes of cooling, I removed the board from the heating plate. The soldering looks good and next in line is to solder the second layer. I assembled this time all the required components just as I have the soldering paste applied to the board. Next, I start placing the components in place just like before, after which I manually soldered them carefully. This is the final look of the board and I'm glad with the result. It's now time to program the board and before that, I connect the coin battery to power the EEPROM for the real time clock. Next, I soldered the UART wire of my programmer to the external UART terminal of the board and I uploaded a sample code to confirm that the hardware is functional. As I can confirm the functionality of the board, I now move to the next part of the build which is soldering the external components. The vibrator, battery and display we are soldered in place and with this done, the board is now ready for use. I now uploaded the last program which integrated all functionalities such as the head check, GPS, watch and more and with that done, we now have a working tracker system. This is how the device works once powered. First, the hardware initializes all sensors, after which it connects to Wi-Fi where it sets the time using ESP32 NTP server. As the program starts running, I can now use the menu button and select button to toggle through the menu program and select a particular functionality to run. It's good to have completed this part of the build and next in line is to show you how we log the reading of each hardware to our server using IoT communication. With that in mind, we'll see you in the next video. Do have a blissful day.